Mark Wahlberg's new Las Vegas restaurant, Fletcher Cantina, just went through a major shock. A fire broke out right on the patio, and it happened just before a big ribbon-cutting celebration. It's a story that's part close call, part crazy timing, and completely unexpected. Now, just imagine this. It's a regular evening at Fletcher Cantina. The restaurant is only three weeks old, barely getting settled in. It's already a hot spot for people looking for a taste of Wahlberg's unique Mexican flavors with his own created spin. Then suddenly, a fire breaks out on the patio, right next to the tables where people are usually sitting, chatting, and having a great time. This wasn't just a spark or a little flame. This fire came from the fire pit itself, the very thing that's supposed to add to the ambience. Talk about a plot twist. So what happened? According to Flesher Cantina's spokesperson, it was a defective fire pit. Something went wrong inside it, and suddenly it burst into flames from within. Now this wasn't just any night. It was the night before Mark Wahlberg was scheduled to hold a big event. Imagine the stress, the timing, as if the fire had its own plan to steal the spotlight. When the fire started raging, the Clark County Fire Department was called right away. Within minutes, they arrived on the scene. But get this, before they even got there, the restaurant sprinklers had already kicked in and started doing their job. This quick response might have made all the difference. The fire was intense, but it was contained. The firefighters arrived, got the fire under control, and were able to turn off the propane tanks that had been fueling the fire pit. Talk about handling the heat, literally. What's even more surprising? The restaurant's main interior wasn't damaged at all. No tables, no decorations, not even a scratch inside. The fire didn't spread beyond the fire pit and a single chair. It was as if the flames respected the boundary of the restaurant's doors. Fletcher Cantina was cleared out and everyone was safe. By 7 p.m. that same night, the team had recharged the sprinkler system and the restaurant was back open for business, like nothing ever happened. Now, some might wonder, why Las Vegas? Why did Mark Wahlberg choose this city, out of everywhere, to launch his latest venture? Well, Wahlberg actually moved his entire family to Las Vegas from California back in 2022, and he had his reasons. He said it was for his career and even more for his family's future. In interviews, he's talked about wanting his kids to grow up in a place where they can chase their dreams. For example, his daughter is passionate about equestrian sports, his son is into basketball, and his youngest son is pursuing golf. Las Vegas, according to Wahlberg, was the perfect place to give them the freedom and opportunity to really thrive. Now, back to Fletcher Cantina. If you're wondering what this place is all about, it's a fusion restaurant where traditional Mexican flavors meet creative, new twists. Think about it. Classic Mexican dishes that are kicked up a notch, all designed to give visitors an unforgettable experience. And it's not just another restaurant on the Strip. This is Wahlberg's latest passion project, a way to bring something fresh to Las Vegas and make his mark on the city he now calls home. But let's get back to the fire for a minute. You have to wonder, was this just an unfortunate accident, or is it a sign of bigger challenges that come with launching a new restaurant? After all, Las Vegas is a tough market. It's known for luxury, for excitement, and for over-the-top experiences. People come here expecting the best of the best, and for someone like Mark Wahlberg, keeping people interested means constantly raising the bar. Despite this near disaster, Wahlberg didn't let it derail his plans. The ribbon-cutting event went forward as scheduled, showing that he's all in on making Fletcher Cantina a success. He's not letting a bit of fire shake his determination. It's clear that Wahlberg's passion goes beyond just movies. He's a family man who's made big moves for the sake of his kids. He's also someone who's not afraid to try new things, even in a high-stakes city like Las Vegas. Moving his life here, opening a new restaurant, creating new opportunities, it's all part of his journey to build something meaningful. But here's the question that's on everyone's mind. Will Wahlberg's restaurant make it? Or will this fire be just the first of many challenges in the world of Las Vegas dining? Running a restaurant, especially in a city where competition is fierce and customer expectations are sky-high, is no easy feat. Only time will tell if Wahlberg's vision will win over Vegas and keep Fletcher Cantina at the top of people's must-visit lists. So, what do you think? Was this fire a simple accident, or could it be a sign of things to come? Is Fletcher Cantina going to be the next big hit in Vegas? Or is Wahlberg's latest venture facing an uphill battle? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're as curious as we are to see what happens next, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more updates on Wahlberg's journey and all the twists and turns that come with taking on Las Vegas.